Stopping the number one thing that causes skin aging is really actually easy to do, but so many people are inconsistent with doing it. The one thing that would keep their skin looking youthful and healthy well into the later years of life. Well, I'm gonna tell you what it is and what to do about it all in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert, and I'm here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. All right, so what is the number one thing that contributes to skin aging starting in our 30s and onward? Drum roll, please. It's sun damage. Now, before you groan and stop watching the video, I promise you I'm about to tell you some things that you really need to know. If you take a look at me sitting here before you at age 59, looking like I do and asking, what is the one thing I've been doing to allow my skin to thrive? Here's the first thing you need to know is that I've been very consistent with use of sunscreen since my late teens. Yes, that's in the 80s and you can clearly see the result. We're now moving into the warmer, sunnier parts of the year, so this video is right on time, even though you really should be wearing your sunscreen year round, and here's why. Even in the winter's darkest months, it turns out that the sun's rays penetrate those dark clouds even your auto windows and your house windows. So wearing that sunscreen year round indoors and out is so important even when it's cold outside. That incremental sun exposure, winter, spring, summer, and fall all adds up to sun damage in your very skin cells leading to premature aging, those age spots, hyperpigmentation patches, and of course the big three of visible skin aging, that textured look, large pores, fine lines and wrinkles. Consistent use of sunscreen acts as a powerful barrier blocking out that UVA, UVB light that is damaging your skin. So which means we should talk quickly about sun exposure basics. The two major components of sunlight that damage your skin are UVB, which is the ray of light that creates sunburns, and UVA long wave radiation light that actually causes the photo aging fine lines and wrinkles that you end up seeing on your skin. And those rays are so powerful that even though I've been very consistent with sunscreen use since my late teens, even so, on the left side of my body, the part that was exposed to all these years of driving a car here in the US, with the sun coming in, even through tinted windows, I still have some visible signs of aging on the left side of my body that I do not have on the right side, which was more protected in the interior of the vehicle. The same thing happens to folks who work in front of windows. It's wonderful to have that natural light coming into your house. I know I enjoy it here in Florida. I actually work in front of a window. Another reason I make sure that I have my sunscreen on. So then what should we look for when we're choosing a type of sunscreen. Well, the first thing you want to look for is broad spectrum. You want to see that word on the label. Broad spectrum labeling ensures that you are getting a sunscreen that blocks out that UVA ray of light, which of course is going to protect your skin from photo aging, but also cut the risk of skin cancer. Did you know that with daily use of even 15 SPF sunscreen, it cuts your squamous cell carcinoma risk by 40% and lowers the risk of melanoma by 50% just from wearing an SPF 15 on a consistent basis. Now, what about the SPF number? SPF 15 is the minimum that I would ever recommend a person use. However, I prefer most everybody use SPF 30. The SPF or sun protection factor rating tells you how much protection you're going to receive from sunburn with that particular formulation. The higher the SPF, the more protection you're getting, obviously. Now, when it comes to SPFs that are higher than say about 40, 45%. I don't usually recommend those like 80 because they tend to be really greasy. They can be very irritating to people's skin, especially if they migrate into your eyes. That's when you get a different kind of burn altogether. Those higher numbers tend to lead people into a false sense of security where they do not go back and reapply their sunscreen often enough, leading to a sunburn. And sunscreen really does need to be applied about every two hours if you're outdoors. If you're indoors, a couple of times a day is probably all that's necessary, maybe just even once, especially if you're not in an environment where you're gonna sweat or wipe the sunscreen off. So that now brings us to the most confusing and controversial part of sunscreens is which kind is best to use. Is mineral better than a chemical? Well, the best sunscreen is the one you will use consistently. Now, I personally like the new generation of mineral sunscreens that we've been seeing. This one is by Versed or Versed, whichever way you want to say it. It's a mineral sunscreen that's slightly tinted and it works very well for all skin tones, including darker tones where mineral sunscreens tend to leave a cast on the skin and a lot of people don't like like them. If you're of darker complexion, sometimes that can be a problem. But these newer formulations of mineral sunscreen 
screen. Don't do that. They absorb well and don't leave that white cast. And we also now have hybrid sunscreens, which take a little bit of chemical sunscreen and mix it with mineral, giving you that broad spectrum protection without all the chemicals going on your skin. These are really, really popular right now. This is the one I've reviewed on the channel by Dermatology. It's D-R-M-T-L-G-Y. That's our acronym for this product and their brand. You can get it tinted or non-tinted. So again, it's a very popular product. And of course, now we have powders and sprays for those of you who wear makeup and cosmetics so that that doesn't pill up. Your foundation doesn't pill up on the skin when you apply your sunscreen. This one is by Kula. It's a facial mist. It is an SPF 50, but it's extremely light. Again, 50 is as high as I would ever go. This product works very well at a 50 because it is a light facial mist spray. So I like this one, especially if I'm going to the beach because I can apply it to my neck very easily, which leads me to the next thing making sure that you apply your sunscreen and all the places your skin is going to be exposed. That's the back of your neck, guys. That's your chest, under your chin, on your face, your ears, the back of your hands, your arms, anything that's going to be exposed. Now, I will put links down below for the types of sunscreens that I recommend, so you can check those out when we're done here today. But the bottom line is you need to protect your skin. Now, if you're someone who just has a lot of difficulty with sunscreens, you have super sensitive skin, just can't find a formulation that doesn't bother your skin. We now have all types of clothing material that actually vents heat and sweat away from the body, keeping you cool, even if it's hot outside, while protecting your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. And you will never see me outside in Florida without a hat, except on a super rare occasion. I am always about the baseball cap or the wide brimmed hat, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm doing it. And now here is something that you probably didn't know or think about when it comes to wearing sunscreen. And that is the fact that yes, starting to wear it at any time will protect your skin from further damage from UVA, UVB light. However, when you wear sunscreen on a consistent basis, no matter when you start wearing it, your skin begins to heal and reverse some of that sun damage that has already occurred. And it doesn't matter what age you start to use it, the reversal in sun damage can be as powerful using a sunscreen as some of the topicals that you have in your skincare routine. And for even more ways to get your best looking skin ever, be sure and check out this video that is coming up next. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. You know how much I appreciate you. I really do appreciate you a lot. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.